procurator. We have found that this man, Jesus of Nazareth, distorts our people's views on the relationship between God and the state. Furthermore, he perverts the very heart of our religion. I'm not concerned with people who break your religious laws. My function as governor here is to keep the peace and administer Roman justice. We know that, procurator. But this man also threatens the established order. If he were not a criminal, we would not have brought him to you. He calls himself the Christ, which means the anointed one. <laughs> Thank you. I too know some Greek. Well, what else has he done? Has he spoken against the emperor? Has he spoken against Rome? Well, procurator, not directly, no, but... Not directly, then he's your problem. You'll have to judge him according to your law. Procurator, for us, this man, Jesus, is a blasphemer. If we were a self-governing nation, we would have the right to exact punishment, which under the law of Moses is laid down for blasphemy. He made a triumphal entry into Jerusalem, calling himself the King of the Jews. A claim which we totally reject. King of the Jews? Well, whatever else he may have done, such a claim is treason. True, too. All right, all right. I'll talk to him. <laughs> Your Jesus. Not ours. Then whose? Whose? Bring him in! Is this the man you think so dangerous? This? The man that aspires to be a king. Come. Come, come, come. Now. The leaders of the Sanhedrin accuse you of preaching perverted doctrine. They also say you call yourself the king of the Jews. Well, are you king of the Jews? If my kingdom were of this world, my followers would have fought to prevent me from being captured. Oh, you speak of a kingdom. Therefore, you must be a king. Are you a king? I am. I was born for one purpose. To bear witness to the truth. All who can accept the truth hear my voice. And what? is the truth. <laughs> no, this man's no criminal. He's a dreamer. Take him away, take him away. Have him flogged as a token of Roman justice. That should wake him up. Right, sir. Procurator. We, <coughs> the leaders of the Sanhedrin, have always had the same aim as you. The peaceful administration of our country for the good of our people. And for many oh, years... please, now, please, please, please. Don't talk to me about the people. As long as they obey 
You care as much about your children of Israel as we do the mob in Rome. Hmm. No, said, uh, let us speak directly. Why does the Sanhedrin consider this man so dangerous that they send you yourself here to make sure that he's condemned? Perhaps for the same reasons as you, Procurator, if you knew him as well as we do, would also find him dangerous. I saw when he entered Jerusalem as a king. Look at him now! <laughs> so he's a king. <laughs> the king of the Jews. <laughs> Man, we ought to dress him like a king. Hey, give me a cloak. <laughs> Don't use mine. Use one of those. Oh, wait, 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 there's some over here. Here it is. <laughs> Come on. Here we are. Turn around. <laughs> Look at him. Hey, hey, wait a minute. If he's a king, if he's a king, he needs a crown. Hey, majesty. High and mighty majesty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I have it! A king's crown! Yeah, look what he's got! He's got his crown! <laughs> <laughs> he needs a scepter. Majesty! A perfect fit, Your Where's Majesty! Your throne, eh? <laughs> oh, now he's the king! <laughs> Tiberius will be getting worried! Homo. Behold the man. Well, what have you got to say for yourself now? Speak! Isn't there an ancient custom honoring Passover 
where the procurator can release a prisoner sentenced to death as an act of mercy? Yes, that custom still exists. And we have two prisoners? Barabbas? And Jesus. So let the people decide. I've made my decision. The people will decide. Take him away. Right, take this one away. Get down to the prison now and bring Barabbas. 